In this video, we're going to learn how to draw a dot and cross diagram for carbon dioxide. A carbon dioxide molecule is made up of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. And when you draw the atoms, you draw circles overlapping with a space to draw the shared electrons. When I begin a question like this, I always make sure I have the valency written across the top of my periodic table. If you're not sure how to do this, I'll send a link to my other video. It starts with 1 above group 1 and then goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 3, 2, 1. That then means I can use the two numbers at the top of each column to work out where the electrons go. I'll show you here. You start with carbon. Carbon is in group 4 of the periodic table. The two numbers at the top, the first number, the group number, tells me there are going to be four electrons in the outer shell of carbon. Then the valency that I have written on tells me that all four of those electrons need to be shared. So I'll put two electrons in each of the shared areas and split them between them. Then if I look over at oxygen, oxygen is in group six. There is a six at the top of the column, which tells me there are six electrons in the outer shell. And the two tells me that two out of those six need to be shared. So I'll put two into the shared area and then the other four go around the outside. And for the other oxygen atom, I'll do the same. I'll put two into the shared area and another four around the outside. This now means that each of the oxygen atoms and the carbon atom all have eight electrons in their outer shell. So this is the dot and cross diagram for carbon dioxide. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this helpful.